Okay, now. Is everybody ready? Orko, I don't think I've ever been ready for one of your tricks. <laughs> Which means he's just about as ready as he'll ever be, Orko, so let her rip. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I think. One, two, three colored balls. And now for some juggling. No hands this time. I can't look. Three I see and three I say. Round and round and round away. Orko. Now what? Oops. Those pieces of equipment are irreplaceable. If anything happens to them, I'll... Why, I'll... Uh, don't worry, man-at-arms. I'll get them. Get back here! Uh, see, he, even they won't listen to me. Made it! Now for a little catch. Got him! All nice and safe, too. Khan, what are you doing here? I seek He-Man. Why? What do you want with him? I speak only to He-Man. Where is he? He's, um, he's unavailable. So if you want He-Man, you'll have to tell us why. Yeah. Very well. My people, the Reptons, are in great danger getting cold. Eternal flame that warms them is out. If it's not fixed soon, they will hibernate. We'll sleep forever. I never thought I'd see the day when Cobra Khan would come to He-Man for help. I still haven't seen it. And from the sound of it, I don't want to. Well, I can't speak for He-Man. But the Reptons have never done anything to us. They're a peaceful people. Except for him. But we can't let one bad sheep or, or snake spoil it for the rest. Take us to your people, Cobra Khan, and we'll see what we can do. Meanwhile, we have a truce. Agreed? Yes. Truce. Agreed. Are you, you sure you want to do this? Of course. That's good, because I'm not sure I, I want to do this. We have to, Cringe. We can't ignore a plea for help just because it comes from someone we don't like. So, let's go. By the power of Grayskull! <laughs> Awfully quiet, Track. Yeah, is something bothering you? I do not like that. That machine. You mean the land shark? Yes. It has a big mouth. <laughs> hey, man. Do you hear me? <sighs> Speaking of big mouths. No, no. <clears throat> yes, Cobra Khan, we hear you. This is dangerous place. Traps. To slow down humans. Be careful. Now that is a switch. Cobra Khan telling us to be careful. Looks like he had a good reason to. Lock. It's a core lock, and it's blocking the path. And that's not all it's doing. You all right, Track? Never felt better. Good. Now let's see if we can't clear that road. Look at those arms. We'll never get past it. Wanna bet? Uh-oh, I think he just took that bet. <laughs> Sorry, but we can't stay around here all day playing catch. Hmm, maybe a quick game of tag might be a good idea. Let's see how good you really are. 
missed me. <laughs> missed again. Not very good at this, are you? Maybe if we tried all at once. <laughs> No, Orko. Looks like it got itself. There, that ought to hold it for a while. By the time it untangles itself, we should be long gone. Impressive. saved me. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh, no time for thanks. Must go. What a strange day this is turning into. Well, Orko, let's get back to the attack track. Like he said, we'd better go. Right. You will understand soon enough, man-at-arms. Then I will not see Save you. <laughs> well, this must be the place. The entrance to the home of the Reptons. Yes, my people, come. We must hurry. Well, Track, it looks like we'll have to leave you out here till we get back. Do you have to, E Man? I'd rather not stay out here with, with that. This won't take long, Track. You'll be fine. Easy for you to say. You're going in there. I'm stuck out here with Smiley. <laughs> nice day. Now cut that out. Looks like Cobra Khan wasn't kidding. The lower we go, the colder it gets. I just hope that when he takes us to the Eternal Flame, we'll be able to relight it. Speaking of Cobra Khan, where is he? Every time I turn around, he disappears. Here. This way. All right, follow the leader it is. Oh, that's funny, no sign of Cobra Khan. He did it to us again. Cobra Khan! Hello! Khan, are you there? Say, what's this? <sighs> Maybe Cobra Khan's inside. Come on, let's check it out. This must be the room of the Eternal Flame. From here, the Reptons heated their entire underground world. Or used to. That flame is definitely out cold. And reptiles can't function when they get too cold. Hmm. The opening must lead down. Stop! Oh, at last we have you. The villains responsible destroying the eternal flame. <laughs> Seize them! Wait! You don't understand. We've come to help. I understand. I understand that you have put out the eternal flame that keeps our people warm. You will have your chance to explain to our king. Then he can divide. A suitable punishment. Ah, punishment, huh? Let's get him, He-Man. No, Cat, wait. We came here to help, not to fight. Perhaps when we see the king, we can explain to him. So, for now, we'll go quietly. This way. Cold. It is getting so very cold in here. Cold? You call this cold? Why, where I grew up, it was so cold we had to put sweaters on the icicles. <laughs> ah, friend Scales, even your jokes begin to suffer the effects of the cold. Soon we will all be forced 
into the sleep of hibernation, and I shall not hear your jokes again for a long time. <laughs> Which, come to think of it, may not be such a bad thing after all. Right, I, uh, what? Oh, your highness. Uh, yups. Yes, Chancellor, what is it? We have captured those who turned off the eternal flame. That's not true, King Pythos. I can prove our innocence. I've tried to explain that we were brought here by one of your own people. He can tell you that we came here to help. Oh, do not believe them, Your Highness. We have a witness to their crime. What? That's impossible. Thought no one saw you. <laughs> Bring forth the witness. Cobra right. Khan! You, you snake! Flattery will get you nowhere. Silence. Is this true, Cobra Khan? Did you see them put out the eternal flame? Yes, it was them. Hey, wait a minute. Are you going to believe him or us? I know Cobra Khan. He is one of our people. I do not know you. Take them away. Sorry, but we're not going anywhere. Right! Oh, yes, you are. Fire coils. Those snake coils should keep you busy. Don't count on it. Looks like your time's up, Cobra Khan. No, He-Man. Time to sleep. Venom mist. Hey. I can't stay awake. You've done well, Cobra Khan. Take them away. We will decide their fate later after they awake. I will attend to it, Your Highness. Cobra Khan, we had heard that you'd turn to evil. By helping us capture these villains, you have redeemed yourself. Too late to do any good. Soon it will be too cold, and we will all enter the time of sleep. Perhaps not, Highness. What if I could restore the eternal flame? Hmm. For that, Cobra Khan, you, you could have anything you wish. Be anything you wish. Even be king? 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 Eh, perhaps. What good am I as king if my people are all asleep? Yes, agreed. Whoever succeeds in restoring the eternal flame shall be king of the reptiles. So let it be. Good. Excellent. Just as I planned. Hmm. By my beard. There's something strange going on here. Even stranger than the fact that I don't have a beard. So perhaps I should keep an eye on Cobra Khan. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Once this ice crystal is removed, the eternal flames will return. Then I shall be king. <laughs> no, it's not working. The ice crystal must have put the flame out permanently. The question is, what do I do now? I don't know about him, but I know what I'm going to do. He-Man, you're awake! Just barely. That venom mist really packs a punch. Now, let's get out of here! Right. Let's see what this door is made of. Hey! You didn't have to do that. I was coming to get you. Why? Has King Pythos decided on our punishment? No, no. I'm on your side. My name is Scales. We need your help to light the eternal flame. We've heard that before. Now, Battle Cat, let's hear him out. And it better be good. Uh, well, well you see, Cobra Khan, well, he... Uh, it's, it's a long story. Oh, come on. I'll explain it along the way. Thank you. 
So it was Cobra Khan who put out the eternal flame. That's right, he man. He was going to blame you, then turn the flames back on. Then he would be king. Only now he can't make the flames work again. You've got to help us. Well, that's what we came here for in the first place, Scales. We'll do what we can. And then we'll take care of that Cobra Khan. Right, Battle Cat? <sighs> it's what I live for, Orko. <laughs> Can you fix it? It's getting colder and colder down here. I don't know, Scales. The hole leads down to an underground layer of molten lava. This is the source of your fire. But when the fire was put out for too long, the hole collapsed. We'd need to drill hundreds of feet long, a block and tackle, and even then there's no telling how long it'll take. That's it, then. It's hopeless. Not quite, Scales. There might be another way after all. That stalactite should be just the right size. Good shot, He-Man. Thanks. Now, everybody stand back. I'm going to need plenty of room. What's he going to do? Drill to the center of the planet? If he has to. Got to drill deeper. Hmm, according to my calculations, He-Man should reach the layer of molten lava right about now. Wow, that looks neat. Yeah, I feel better already. So do I. Cobra Khan. So, you were here the whole time. That's right, E-Man. Thanks for fixing the flames for me. Now I shall take credit for your efforts. <laughs> and then, once I am king... What is the meaning of this? King Pythos. I demand an explanation. I turned the flames back on and caught them trying to stop it. Hey, wait a minute. That's not true, sire. Silence. Cobra Khan, do you swear on your honor that what you have told us is true? I do. Well, here we go again. Guards, seize the guilty one. Hey, what's going on? We made the mistake of listening to you once before. I do not intend to repeat the mistake. Take him away. I want to thank you, He-Man, for your help. And now there's something else. My agreement with Cobra Khan was that whoever restores the Eternal Flame will take over as king. He-Man, the throne is yours. Oh, thank you, Your Highness. I'm honored. You are indeed a man of your word, but you were tricked into that agreement. And besides, you are just the sort of king these people need. The honor is mine. Hey, where's Scales? I wanted to say goodbye to him before we left. Scales is, well, he's training his new apprentice. Scales? Coming, your highness. Scales and Khan, at your service. By having brought difficulty to so many, Cobra Khan's punishment for as long as he is here is to make people happy. Come on, let's show them that new trick I taught you. See? Fun, isn't it? Yes! And I hate fun! <laughs> <laughs> Today we learned the importance of making the right decisions. When Cobra Khan lied about He-Man, King Pythos believed him at first because Cobra Khan was one of his people. But later he learned that trusting Cobra Khan was a big mistake. So when you have to make a decision about something, don't just jump at the first or the easiest answer. Think it through. Look at both sides and then decide. That way, whatever decisions you make will have a better chance of being the correct ones. See you next time. <laughs>